So today, we're going to be constructing a perpendicular bisector of a line segment using just a compass. All right. Now, before I do the construction, it helps to sketch a little diagram to understand why the construction works. All right. So over here, I'm just going to sketch a line segment. Here, I'll even draw the endpoints on it. Okay. And the perpendicular bisector is going to go through the middle of it, somewhere about here. But we know it's perpendicular. We know it's a bisector. So I'm going to mark it as such. All right. Now, one of the properties of a perpendicular bisector is that any point on this perpendicular bisector, for example, this point up here, any point on a perpendicular bisector is equidistant to the ends of the segment. In other words, this point is the same distance to this end of the segment as it is to this end of the segment. These distances are the same. Now, why is that helpful? Because we can use that property to construct the perpendicular bisector. What we basically need to do is find two points that are equidistant from the ends of the segment and draw a line through them, and that's your perpendicular bisector. All right, so let's go ahead and construct that then. First thing I'm gonna do is take my compass and set it so that it's more than halfway across the segment. All right, so that looks pretty good right there. And off one end of the segment, I'm gonna swing an arc up top above the line and then one below the line. All right, now using that exact same compass setting, I'm gonna go to the other end of the line segment and again, swing an arc above the line segment, and then swing an arc below the line segment. And you'll notice the two arcs intersect at a point up here. Why is that point important? Because this point is the point we're looking for. It's the point that's equidistant from both ends of the line segment. You see? See that distance is the same as this distance. Therefore, that points on the perpendicular bisector. Now, the reason why we swung an arc down below also is because this point right here where the two arcs intersect, that's also equ equidistant from the ends of the line segment. You see? Therefore, that point is also on the perpendicular bisector. And now that we have two points that are, that are on the perpendicular bisector, of this segment, we can draw a line through those two points. And this is my perpendicular bisector. And I can mark it as such. So it's perpendicular, and it's the same distance on this side as it is on here. So that line there is my perpendicular bisector. All right. So, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also, subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.